Hello, hey, hi guys, this is Hussain from Success Soul. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use unique constraint in MySQL. As the name says, unique. Unique constraint identify each record and database uniquely. But please note, unique constraint and primary constraint both are different. In primary constraint, unique is predefined. But unique can have one null null value but primary cannot have null value and yes in unique key you can like unique constraint can be used multiple times in mysql tables but primary key can be used only once so let's get started so in this tutorial we're going to cover how to use unique constraint while creating a table where there is a table already existing in the database and how to drop a unique constraint from a table okay so this is a human to machine guys so i'm just gonna type mysql minus u root minus p okay so password will be password so here's my sql terminal on the screen you can say okay so first of all i'm gonna use my database use success soul okay and now i'm gonna create a table create a table let's say student mm. create table student okay enter student id which will be sid integer int not null primary key okay guys then s name where care 50 not null okay so for uniqueness we can give mm, what is say let's say roll number roll number roll number can be null as well okay integer not null unique unique is a keyword to add a unique constraint in mysql okay so here it is okay and a table is created let's check if it's created or not show tables okay there is employee and student student is the table we just created let's check the description dsc student okay so as you can see here unique uni and primary key unique can be in, in one table there can be multiple unique constraints but only one primary key okay so i'm gonna show you now how to drop a unique constraint or unique key in mysql so you can use alt table command alt table table name student drop drop is the keyword and index unique in bracket you write the uh, r no as it's representing the unique key in mysql so just check if it's done or not okay okay sorry guys i just did the oracle thing it doesn't matter here this is mysql uh, drop index and the R and O attribute name press enter and it's done let's check if it's removed or not DSC student and you can see it's blank here so it's gone okay now let me tell you how to add a unique key in an existing table of MySQL so for that also we'll use alter table table name which is student and 
unique in bracket you write uh, they know great okay so quite okay let's check if it's added or not BSc student okay as you can see our primary key is back and our unique key is also back okay guys thank you for watching our my video please like the video please subscribe my channel success soul please follow us on twitter like us on facebook and visit our website successsoul.com thank you guys have a nice day have a great one thank you